Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another gardening video. So today we are planting up a few pots, both for my porch and for my, the inside of my house. Now, last year, I kept some hyacinth bulbs and I planted them up for spring and you can see they're just starting to come up. So I am just going to top dress this little pot, but I didn't have enough room in my fridge and hyacinth bulbs need to be pre-chilled. So I couldn't really do a whole bunch of bulbs. So this last week, when the big box stores have started to get them already blooming, I went ahead and I picked up a bunch that were not bloomed yet um, that were on clearance because they're about to bloom. So we're not doing a bunch. I bought six of them two days ago. These white ones were, were not bloomed when I bought them and they are already blooming. So we need to get them potted so that I can bring them inside and enjoy them while they are still um, blooming. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to pot up these hyacinths. I have six of them. If I can fit them all in one pot, I'm going to. If not, uh, we'll get another pot. But while they are beautiful in the garden, I love to bring hyacinths inside and set them on my kitchen island or on my desk in my office because they smell so good and they're small enough to be an indoor plant to some extent. So all I'm doing is putting them in a little pot. This one doesn't have any drain holes with some uh, potting soil. Nothing exciting. But I picked this guy because he's got some babies with him. We're just going to settle them all in this pot. Water them in and then bring them inside. Nothing exciting. Then my little pot here with the pansies is one of the few things that I keep on my porch year round. He does fabulous. Normally I have a giant foxtail fern behind him, but we had an awful freeze this winter. And the foxtail fern died all the way back to the surface. The roots seem to be fine. As it warms up, he will come back. Sad we lost the growth because he's, they're typically evergreen in my area. But it happens. It is what it is. I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. So instead, I am just going to plant a flat of uh, snapdragons that I picked up because none of my snapdragon seeds germinated last year behind the pansies so that this container can continue to look fabulous for spring. By the time summer rolls around and the pansies are done and the snapdragons are snapped, hopefully those ferns will have filled back in and I can put some summer annuals in front in place of the pansies. So nothing super exciting in this video. We're literally just planting away. So if you want to watch, that's what we're doing.
And there we go. Three white, three purple. These will look great on my island with the pink ones that are coming up, although they'll probably be at different times, but that's okay. When this one's finished, the white ones should, or when these ones are finished, the pink ones will be about to be in bloom so I can switch them out. One of these days, I'm going to get a potting bench so I can stop making a giant mess of my porch because I am not, not a neat person when it comes to dirt. I try, but I'm just not. Let's do our snapdragon. All right, so here is our porch planter. And you can see I've got three or four pansies up front and then my one, two, three foxtail ferns behind it. I am going to just make myself little tiny spots to slip these snapdragons in all the way around. with a little extra dirt if need be. But basically we're just gonna keep doing that, leaving our ferns, which all of this is fern litter, in place so that they can still grow. Let's take this out. So, as you can see, we have our little doxy girl with the snapdragons in the background. It is not the best container of all time, but it is so much better than nothing. And once those snaps start snapping, it'll be a sweet little picture. Now, we lost a pansy here and here, but I'm not going to worry about this side because... My Silver Falls Dichondra, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It will come back. I had to cut it all the way back after the freeze. So in the meantime, our sweet little cotton candy pansies are a, look, look at the growth. Our hyacinth bulbs peeking through and our pretty hyacinths and just a, just a few fun things for spring. Maybe one of these years I will be someone who has dozens of spring containers and hyacinths everywhere and lots of pretty plants to fill in my spring containers. But for now I am very happy with my tiny little spring display. I'm going to take my hyacinth bulbs inside where I can enjoy them. And if you want more spring, you can go check out my tulip planting video because the tulips are starting to come up. Do, 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 do. There you go. Sneak peek. It's coming.
coming soon. In the meantime, let's hang out over here. I did want to point out before I go that while I have drip set to this pot, he's not turned on yet for the season. But another benefit of the, uh, the dachshund statue, I typically have a statue in most of my large containers, is that I can actually pour my water directly on the statue and it doesn't run off the sides. It just goes down the statue and into the dirt as opposed to going all over my wagon and other things pouring off the sides. So I don't worry about it for the most of the season, but whenever I do have to water, that is typically what I do. Pour them right on my statue. I have a fairy and the other ones I pour it right on her and it just helps direct it without a bunch of splash, but don't know if that's for everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see y'all over with the rest of my spring garden content. Bye.